Yes, sir. How are you all? Oh, we're great. How are you doing? Good. Good. Thank you for asking. Um, let's jump into this. Um, Jacksonville, is it a new venue for you guys? I'm not sure. Veterans Memorial Arena. We've been just discussing how uh, the names have changed of all the venues, and sometimes when I get my itinerary and I see the names of these places, I go, is this the last, did we play here last year or not? And uh, so, at least Veterans Memorial Arena, I, pro I can probably say with confidence that we've played there before. Sounds great. What, what can people expect to, to see from, uh, from uh, Kiss and Aerosmith this year? I think what you're getting is, is twice your money's worth. You know, you're getting arguably the two biggest American rock bands of the last 25 or 30 years playing on the same stage, delivering everything that people expect. You know, money is hard to come by, and the idea that people are paying hard-earned money means that they should get something for it. And I can tell you as a fan of rock and roll that I'm there every night, and Kiss is pretty damn good, and I, I can say the same about Aerosmith. It's any given night you'll see them watching us and vice versa. It's a great, great night of rock and roll. You know, I, I grew up with uh, Kiss and Aerosmith, uh, two, two of my favorite bands. It's, it's, it's amazing to find uh, two headliners on the bill at the same time. Well, you know, we came up in an era when, when the only thing you had was your live show and you put out records to kind of be the, the soundtrack of your live show. And I do remember an era when there were a lot of headliners would play together. And that is what this reminds me of. When you would see The Who and Jethro Tull or 10 years after, and bands that we, that we grew up loving playing on the same bill. And that's why we're, we're one of the reasons why we're doing this, because we want to give the fans as much for their dollar as they can get. And uh, I have to say that so far, the response has been great. That's what I've heard. Every every um, uh, everybody I hear is, is, is talking about this is the uh, the, the uh, tour of the century. Um, stepping back in history for just a minute, uh, both bands uh, phenomenal uh, rock bands. Uh, no one uh, no one has done it. No one does it better. No one has done it better. Um, Y'all have been at it for quite a while now. Shouldn't you be slowing down at this particular point in your careers? I think we're both at the top of our game. Um, this, uh, this, isn't, this isn't something for kids in the sense that bands may come along and sell five million copies and then fade into obscurity. That's what VH1 Behind the Music sometimes is about, present company excluded. But, you know, you've got two bands here that have learned their craft over years, and there's no reason to slow down. We do what we do better than ever. I don't think Kiss has ever sounded better, and I listen to Aerosmith almost every night, and I'm telling you, it's, a, it's a, a joy. And both bands are going out there, not pussyfooting and not going, hey, we all get along well, which we do, but each band goes out there with a tremendous sense of pride and a, a responsibility to the audience to go out there and live up to the expectations. I think both bands are going way beyond that. Sounds great, gentlemen. We look forward to seeing you in the upcoming weeks. Well, thanks. We're looking forward to being there.